hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to paste code in droyo let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in droyo i want you to click the start button and then just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go pasting code directly in droyo is not a built-in feature but of course we are here to explore few workarounds depending on your needs now number one option is you might want to paste the code as text so go here and the uh, left side panel of your dashboard go to search these shapes right here type in text right so for example we're going to be using this one for uh, for now gonna click that we're going to make it a little bit bigger now i'm going to paste a simple javascript code right here all right you see that now from here you can change the uh, style obviously and the font color maybe we're going to be choosing uh, something like something that pops out maybe something like a yellow yellowish kind of color all right so click on apply and the heading is going to be code all right so that one way another option is screenshot the code that you have generated in my case i have a sample code for display in droyo using chat gpt i'm going to uh, screenshot this and from here i'm going to paste it you see that copy and paste so these are going to be two ways now the last option that we could do is pressing the f 12 function on your keyboard because if you do you would be forwarded to the elements console sources and network all right so go to elements and of course from here we might wanna put in the code that we have pasted right here anywhere part of your diagram now doing so integrating codes with a diagrams like sequence ERDs or decision trees to show the uh, logic flows in the program right for example this one we can now add a simple diagram right here for example this we can put it here and then click an arrow with the relationship of the code pointing towards here and of course and add another arrow here pointing towards that all right so these are going to be the functions that you can use to provide a comprehensive view of the code and its behavior in terms of creating here in Droyo. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.